One of our friends has asked us that how to use a custom post type with user frontend. A good feature of user frontend is that you can use any kind of post type or custom post type from frontend. So to be good with the meta keys, we have installed a plugin named Post Meta Inspector. Installing that will enable you to see the meta keys which are in a post. So it's no matter how kind what kind of the post type is like it can be WooCommerce product or like WordPress SEO the plugin Yoast what are they using or the custom field using so I have installed that post meta inspector plugin and that enables me to see the post metas right here like this is the post type here you can see some custom fields here the developer has made this with custom code from his theme or plugin so I don't bother with that I just need the meta keys so scrolling down I can see an extra field named post meta inspector that is coming from the plugin and the plugin is showing the meta keys what are inside this post so the edit lock edit last thumbnail ID these are the common things these come from like normal post types or normal post but some extra things we can see here is WPF form ID that is here when you install user frontend pro that creates a meta key that is that works with the post and you can see an extra field here if you if this page or this post is any kind of form you can assign that form here so we'll not bother about it here because we don't need it what we need this here is event location, event address, event city, event start date these things and event telephone I think WP old slug or FBC last ping these things are from a different plugin so we are not going to use that right now what we are going to use that right now is event location so let us make a form and let it make work with this meta keys and we'll see if this work with this post type let us go to user frontend forms we'll open in a new tab because we need this meta keys and I don't like to reload pages every time so post a party he has made a form earlier and I'll check what have we done here if anything is wrong or not correct I will correct those things toggle all event name so post title is even name featured image date field time venue address city state zip code telephone URL promoter listing type location even description I can see a lot of text fields here we'll work with the meta keys with custom text fields that enables us to use meta keys like if you use this text field you can see anywhere like the meta key even telephone so we'll check if that's correct event telephone event underscore telephone event underscore telephone yes the meta key is right so we'll check if he has placed the meta keys right there's image upload field as this is a featured image and here we can see also a featured image field so the image field is correct then we'll check for date and the date field is something like where is the date? I'm too lazy so I'm using Ctrl F to check where is the date is written so event start date this meta key is used with hyphens even hyphen start hyphen date so the event start date meta key is alright here then event time so let us check where is event time okay they haven't entered any event time here so the meta key doesn't exist if you haven't given any value to a meta key it will not show here so if I add an event time here it will show there like 12 20 and I, if I update this you'll say meta key named event time this wasn't here before after I have added the time the event time is showing here so they have placed 
event time meta key it's correct then what do we need here is venue name venue equals to event underscore location so can we see anything like event underscore location yes event underscore location exists so this meta key is two correct then address equals event address so event venue and event address can be same or like event venue is the venue name or event location is event venue name or like we are arranging a party on the opera house at sydney so opera house sydney is here event location or venue name and even address is like 32 jackson street this kind of address is addressed now as event address so we'll check if we have anything like event address yes there is something named event address and it's too correct then even city is correct even state that is correct then event underscore zip code we also can find the event underscore zip code then event underscore URL we cannot see anything like event underscore URL did they enter any value in the event URL here URL event website URL they haven't entered any event website URL so I will enter a dummy data like HTTP demo dot com and update this post to check if the meta key is correct so this post is having event underscore website so the meta key is event underscore web site okay I have placed the meta event underscore website so see here he have uh, made a wrong meta key like event underscore URL it was earlier event underscore URL but I have checked the value using the post meta inspector and I can see event underscore website the correct meta key will be event underscore website if you miss the meta key then the data will not save because when you are saving a data using a meta key the form or the program will look for that meta key in your database table and store the data on that field so you must provide the correct meta key then we'll check for event price or ticket price event price event underscore price is correct then we'll check for event underscore promoter who's promoting the promont event event underscore promoter yes that's correct tj jailia listing type this is a taxonomy so we'll check listing type there is so many listing types so how can we enter that listing types in user front end let's check if here is anything to select if it has been WooCommerce attribute I just had to select this taxonomy is a WooCommerce attribute and all the taxonomies available in the WooCommerce will be would be visible here but as this is not from WooCommerce and we haven't write any code for his event type so it will not be visible by default we have to add this selection terms manually so how to add selection terms manually we'll go to the taxonomy and then as this is like some category type so we'll hover over the category and notice on the bottom we can whenever we hover over a link we can see something in the left bottom side some kind of link is displaying there if you notice closely you'll see that there is something like where's the party.com slash wordpress slash wp admin slash edit hyphen tax dot php on the very end you can see something like listing type and tag id equals to six and post type equals to event so if we set the post type as event from the form settings and the tag id six we can provide on the taxonomy field it will automatically get these things we'll check now so let us check if we have set the form type as event go to post settings and then check yes it's checked as event then we'll go to the form editor again 
so we'll provide the IDs of the tags so it's 6 18 22 4 6 4 18 22 so let's place them and see what's happened okay did I miss this somewhere okay now I'm here then it was 4 comma 6 comma 18 and 22 okay and then move further location they haven't anything like location so this is to a taxonomy so we have to get the IDs of the location too then we'll click on the listing location so we have some ID here too so 24 25 26 27 24 25 26 27 then event description even description we'll check if there is something meta key called event description is there anything like event description okay there is no value on the event description so there is no meta key we'll put something like lorem epsom as we are just test, uh, testing this thing an update to check what meta key comes so here's a new meta key event underscore description okay the meta key is correct event underscore description then there is nothing else left so we'll just update the form so when I click on the forms I'll get the list of the forms available right now I can see WPF form ID 166 I'll just copy that and try to find a page where he did embedded this form if I cannot find that I will make a new page let us see post a party if this is correct or not okay the post a party page is holding the short code so I will now view page and see if the form is there while the forms load I will check in the back end that what names of the post am I having on the back end so I will have not that much post I will make a new one to see if this is working okay it is asking me to purchase a pack so I'll turn off the force purchase pack to post free because I'm not giving any money here I'm going to not I'm not going to pay here so I'll check if he have enabled any subscription here on post settings okay disable subscription so that will override subscription on that page okay now I'll reload okay now I can post let us see with lorem ipsum image is mandatory so I'll select an image why don't I use my own image you all know me right there's a depth picker time 3 40 p.m. venue name we have a famous place here called Rubindro Sarobar address is 8 by A Dhanmondi Dhaka 
city is Dhaka, state we can say Dhanmondi, zip code is 1207, we'll type a random telephone number so that you can missed call me. And I'll write here a demo address, price is like 20 taka, promoter is myself, okay. So we're close. See, here in listing type, all the listing types are visible here. I haven't selected an option that I would include only those, not all the options. As the form has said that the post type is event, so it is showing all the listing type and location that is matching with the taxonomy so I want I don't want to show all those so I'll change the settings on my form to just show on the selected terms so if you notice here closely I have said here selection type exclude that means don't exclude this type of uh, these categories so if I select include and then update and reload then the listing types will show only those categories that I have said to include so if we don't select the include we select exclude that will exclude those categories or those taxonomies that I don't want to show here so you can filter them or you can leave it blank and say include or exclude the blank one will not find anything or cannot will not be able to anything like that so include or exclude won't make any sense here so it will show all the terms that is available there so we'll reload the page again to check if everything is working right yes everything is working right so I'll select a listing type like birthday and location is not available here Bangladeshi location so I'll select Arizona and even description I'll type just some random words and submit and see what happens okay I didn't notice that I was uh, missing the image because I have reloaded the form so I'll upload the image again the image is uploaded all the required fields are filled so I'll now submit the form the form is submitted and I can see it from front end now I'll check again from the back end to see if all the data has submitted well so I'll reload the all events parties list yes Larry Mitsum is here and all the fields here are the same the data I have put from the front end is here available in the back end so they are repeating twice because WPF custom fields are showing here they might have mistaken something but that is not our issue we are getting the data right so this is the issue we want to talk about so everything is correct so now you know how to integrate user front end via custom post types or custom fields or custom taxonomy or how to work with them if you get still confused we have our support forum you can come to our support forum and ask us where you have got stuck and we're always happy to assist you thank you